credit is an actual financial position to be in. It begins with a credit score below 620 and goes all the way down to 300. For you, bad credit means greater difficulty in getting approved for car loans and paying higher interest rates if you do get approved. There are extra hoops you need to jump through if you're applying for a bad credit car loan. If you can't get the job done with your credit rating, you may need to use other financial data to get the right loan deal. Securing a car loan with bad credit may require that you have assets, savings, and a steady income. For most car loan transactions, proof of income is a secondary issue. It takes a back seat to your credit rating, which is the best predictor of how likely it will be that you repay the loan. Considering the loan industry trades in risk every day, lenders do not, as a general rule, enjoy risk. Credit scores offer lenders a quick look at the risk you may pose as a borrower. A credit score is a numerical expression of what may occur in the future. Born out of the science of predictive analytics, credit scores are calculated from all of your financial activity that doesn't involve cash and analyzed to detect patterns of repaying or not repaying debts. Credit scores don't stand alone as predictors of future deeds. The car loan process goes into more depth than a few three-digit numbers can offer. Lenders need to know something about your income. After all, how can one possibly approve a loan for someone who has no means to support it? If you had good credit, your income would not likely come into question since credit scores are not related to income. There are instances where people who make relatively little money have high credit scores simply because they pay their bills on time and handle credit responsibly. In other instances, there are people who make large amounts of money and routinely neglect paying their bills. Credit scoring was developed only to predict the likely behavior of borrowers. With bad credit, your lender will look at your income compared to your monthly debt payments in order to make a final determination on your car loan. Known as the debt to income ratio, this can give a lender a clear picture as to how you handle credit and if your income can withstand the additional burden of monthly car payments. Pay stops are most commonly requested by lenders trying to work out a loan agreement that will satisfy both you and the lender. There are times when the lender will request some of your tax returns. If you earn your money through unconventional means, say as an independent contractor, tax returns may become an issue. Working independent of a regular employer, there are no pay stops in the traditional sense. Tax returns offer unshakable verification of your earnings going back over however many years the lender may require. Given the fact you may be trying to apply for a car loan with bad credit, having your tax returns on hand will help you find approval if you make enough money to easily cover the loan payments. Tax returns are rarely needed to complete a car loan agreement, but if you're dealing with the one-two punch of having bad credit and being an independent contractor, you may have to keep these documents on hand as you shop around for lenders. Even though you may be in the bad credit boat, you can still shop for lenders. Some who say no leave you with the task of finding another. Others who say yes might not give you a reasonable interest rate. Time to move on to the next. Whatever your credit situation is, be organized and patient. These two qualities will help to keep you on top of your financial health. Federal Auto Loan. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, all good.